Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Um, just to start off on a bit of a sad note really, I know a lot of people that watch my videos really enjoy seeing um, my cats sometimes when they pop along to say hello, but unfortunately um, I had to lose Chinook um, on Friday of last week, so we won't be seeing Chinook anymore on the videos hopefully merlin will pop along and say hi from time to time um but just that's just a little bit of sad news that i'd had um this week i'll move on and i will pop down some cards to just have a look and see what the week ahead is like for us in a communal reading Okay, so our first card is the lovers and the lovers is a fantastic card it talks about having choices yes it does talk about love uh, it talks about passion it talks about being attracted to somebody it's a great card um, and it's really interesting um, because it, t it tends to be talking about a bit of a beginning of a journey with somebody or it can be a bit of a, be a beginning of a journey within yourself you know not everyone is looking for love not everybody wants to have a relationship in their life not everybody's ready for that or wants it um and that's fine that's okay too um be perfectly happy and single and there's no need to force yourself into a relationship just because that's what everyone else does um so in this lover's card can be talking about you can be talking about your personal choices it can be talking about a bit of a journey that you might be going on of sort of self-discovery about something that you really love something that you're really passionate about I, the key word for me with the lovers is always passion <coughs> so much more so actually than love so there's a really great energy talk about the beginning of the week do things you're passionate about um, you know, even if you've got difficult situations around you, just find one thing each day to do that you are passionate about. It will really, really help. So it's 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 a good card to start the week with. I'm just gonna shuffle up the um Druidcraft Tarot. I decided to use these again this week. I'm chopping and changing around a little bit in March because one minute I feel like I want something that's quite spring-like and then the next minute I'm kind of back into like you know what this still feels wintry so I think I'm gonna use the jury craft again today see what comes up next week see what energy we get let's have a look and see what this beautiful deck has for us today so we have the high priest in this deck so in this deck the high priest is like the hierophant in other tarot decks so the Hierophant is wonderful because it's about spirit. It's about connecting with spiritual practice, connecting with the spirit world, um, f listening to your guides, all of that kind of energy. So a lot of people really don't relate to the Hierophant because of its quite heavily, re um, heavily religious connotations. I don't really feel like that about it. I, I see it more as a, as a mentor or a um, spiritual journey, something you need to learn about what's happening around you with your spirit um, path. Um, so it, it can be that. The high priest and the, um, sorry, I can't get my words out today, is, um, and the hierophant can talk about rules and regulations as well, and maybe being restricted or feeling restricted. Um, or needing to um, put more structure around you, being involved with big organisations that are highly structured. It's that kind of energy. Um, but really, for me, I kind of feel like I'm looking at a more spiritual side to this card um, at the moment. I'm kind of drawn to the um, connection with um, the heavens that he's kind of pointing up towards the heavens. So that's what that's talking about to me this week. So, you know, be, be working on your spiritual connection. I know I'm going to be working on mine, that's for sure. I'm just going to pop down a 
card from this beautiful Arboridium Oracle. I really love this deck. I'm just going to pop a card down from this deck and see what we've got. That's it. Okay. So. Adventure. So the adventure card. Brilliant. Really good really um positive this is interesting with the lovers because we've got this journey uphill happening here um and it's like i said it is a bit of a beginning of a journey so it could be the beginning of a bit of an adventure i'm just going to have a little read in the um guidebook what she says about this card i won't read all of it because it's like i said before these are like little stories um so I won't read all of it out, but let's have a look and see what it says. I thought I was there for a second then, I wasn't. Let me just read you the little key phrase that it is here. It says, adventure is both where we find it and how we choose to seek it out. So, I think when I think about adventure, I kind of feel a bit like that when I'm looking at the full card, you know, time for a bit of an adventure. Um, it feels like that brand newness, that energy of really going and doing something different, seeking out a new path. Um, but also I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to say, just don't be afraid of the adventure because I think what quite often happens is we're presented with these new opportunities and we, we're scared of them, really. Um, and that sort of trepidation stops us from not only enjoying the actual adventure that we're going on, it fills us with all this scaredness and apprehension that kind of ruins the excitement about going on a new adventure. So it's a lovely, lovely card. Um for us for the towards the end of the week so i feel like we're moving forward in this in this journey of, of the week feels a bit like a journey to me and i know that is a word that is grossly overused these days with all the reality tv programs using it all the time um but i just feel like we've got things moving forward this week that are going to take us on a little bit of a a little bit of an adventure which is great so i'm just going to shuffle up a brian card to go with these And see what Mr. Brian's got to say. Heaven sent. Okay, so let me just pop that up there a little bit. And that in there a little bit. So Brian's card says, this is the answer to your dreams. Stay grounded and focused and say thank you to our creator. Goes really nicely with the Hierophant. That talking about that connection with spirit. And this, this energy of... of of our dreams being answered which is the adventure and the journey so really really lovely set of cards for today so hopefully that's helped you for your week do pop me a comment down below if you um have resonated with that and how your week is going and what you what you're what are you thinking how it might how you're thinking it might pan out for you with these cards um i'd really love to hear that um Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of thing. Um, those things cost you absolutely nothing to do and it really, really helps my channel get seen. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.